look at three other scriptures, but let's just open our meeting with Revelation chapter 3 for you to know that if there is an open door, there will be a, there, if there is a closed door, there will be open doors. For God to say, I will open your doors, it means that a person's door can be closed. A person's door can be closed. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 8. Let's all go there. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 8. Let's all go there. Let's all go there. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 8. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 8. That's what we are starting with today. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 8. Are we all there? Yes. Okay, it's on screen. I want us to read together. After the count of three, that's going to be the, uh, the, the, the baseline. Let's read together after the count of three. One, two, and three. Let's go. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Now look at this. God was speaking in this scripture. I know thy works. I know how hard working you are. I know your, the effort you have put to work. He said, but behold, I have set before thee an open door. I have set before thee an I have set before thee an open door. Now, and for God to declare that I have set before thee an open door, it means that a door can be closed as well. You know, when an, a door is open, it means you have access. That's why you see that everything has doors. Nations have doors. And the gateway of every nation, you will see either their airports, their embassies. You can't just stand up now and say, okay, you know what? I want to go and enter uh, uh, a particular country. Except if you are going to enter through a back door. And if you enter through a back door, they call you an illegal immigrant. And when you enter through the back door, you have to be dodging. Because if the law enforcement asks you for your permit, how did you enter this country? That's why people are deported. So every nation has doors. Every human life also has doors. I'm, I'm telling you, every human life has doors. Now, every home has doors. That's why you see that when you want to sleep at night, what do you do? You close your doors. And every destiny to have doors. Amen? Every destiny have doors. We are going to see some things tonight. That are one of the reasons why people don't have access is because of the doors that are closed against them. Now, and some reasons why people don't have uh, what they at times ask for reach them is because some doors are closed against the people bringing opportunities to them. But I pray today in the name of Jesus, the Lord whose presence we have come, you know, who we have come to meet in this prayer meeting, we declare our doors open in Jesus' name. So when we say open door, it means access. Ah, what is she Access. Open door means access. I remember many years ago, uh, they invited me, uh, one of our members came to the, uh, invited, he was calling me on phone, hello sir, please come and pray for me. I said, wow, so I got to the hospital to pray for her. It was a popular hospital around us here. Now, to pray for her, I got there. I saw that she was in labor. She was pregnant. She was in labor. She wanted to give birth. And I was told that she has been laboring for hours. But the baby wasn't coming forth. The first time I will hear it. So I went to see the doctor. I demanded for, to see the doctor. Doctor, why is she not giving birth? He said, sir, the service have not opened. Ah, I said, I don't understand. This is a woman going through labor pain. He says, sir, if the service doesn't open, there's nothing we can do. So we have to wait for the service to open. I now ask her, okay, ask the doctor. Doctor, if the service doesn't open, what do we do? He said, then we create another way to bring out the baby. And that's what they call what? CS. Oh, that was the day I discovered that it is not even that your, your time has come, that the time is the day your baby will come. If the service doesn't open, not, there's something that can be done. I, 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 I don't know what I'm saying. So everything in this life has doors. But today I pray, we have fasted, we have prayed. The same way God declared these doors open, doors shall open for you in the name of Jesus. And it shall be doors that no man can shut. 
Now, I'm going to use three characters, three people in the Bible as our case study today. The first one is a man called Joseph. Now, if you look at Genesis chapter 40 and verse 23, I want you to see how gifted Joseph was. Show us Genesis chapter 40 and verse 23. Now, Joseph was a, when I say gifted, a very gifted, a very talented man. Gifted with the ability to manage anything well. He, he, will, he has managed his life. He can manage any company anywhere. But scriptures shows us that he was put in prison. And you know when you, a person is put in prison, that man is put behind what? Closed doors. Now, and when you are placed behind closed doors, what is happening? The people that can come to you are going to be determined by those that close the door. Now, and you too cannot have access to the people outside where you are. So, beloved, with all the gifts, with all the talents, with everything that Joseph had, all the people he could reach were those behind closed doors like him. Now, and that's what is happening to so many people. Some people say, Pastor, you don't understand. I'm gifted. Pastor, you don't understand. I am talented. Pastor, you don't understand. I am skilled. Pastor, you don't understand. Ah, if you see my CV, I am brilliant. I'm a graduate. I have so so and so numbers of number of degrees. But pastor, you don't understand. Most of those things are not showing. The gift they have is not showing. It's like Joseph. Can you imagine? He was so talented, he managed even the prison he had well. What was the highest reward he got? He was given the permission to manage the prison yard. He was so talented, he had to interpret the dreams of people in the, in the prison. What was the highest reward he got? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And they promised him. Do you know why? They closed the door against him so that he would not be able to reach the people that can reward him. That's why I'm praying for somebody under the sound of my voice. Every door that is closed against your life, against your giftings, against your talents in this meeting, may they be open in Jesus' name. So upon his gift, thank God that door, if not that door open, do you know that he would not have been recommended in the palace? Joseph would not have been recommended. Nobody would have spoken to him. All he would have just been doing in prison. Some people's gifts are, are, are lo under lockdown. I'm telling you, some people's gifts are under lo lockdown. Some people's talents are under lockdown. Some people's calling are under lockdown, like Joseph. So all the people you can reach are the people that cannot reward you. Now, what will a prisoner give to his fellow prisoner? He can't even give his fellow prisoner his food. Because even the food they are, they are, they are going to distribute, it's not enough for him himself. So all he can get from his fellow prisoner is what? Thank you. One day if I come out and things become better, I will remember you. Why? Because they lock him there. Today we are going to deal with those locks. We are going to call for open doors over our lives. We will call for open doors over our gifts. We will call for open doors on every aspect of life. Beloved, until the prison door was open for Joseph to come out, Joseph was not recognized. Say after me, my doors shall open from today for my good in the name of Jesus. Now let's look at some of the things that the enemy used as key to lock people on a particular spot. In 1 Kings, look at chapter 5 verse 3. I used this in the, in the morning session on the online service, online prayer meeting. 1 Kings chapter 5 and verse 3. Look at the door that was closed against King David. Let's look at it. Let's read together. After the count of three, one, two, and let's go. Thou knowest how that David, my father, could not build an house unto the name of the Lord his God for the wars which were about him on every side until the Lord put them under the soles of his feet. Now, three things I will show you here. What's the first thing I want to show you? Thou knowest how David, my father, could not be. Now, thou knowest how David, my father, now, what's the first thing? The intention of David. He could bear Daphidi. What was his intention? He wanted to build for God. Oh, 
He wanted to build for God. Ah, I wish I can build for God. Oh, I wish I can build for God. Oh, I desire to build for God. You know, so many people like that have good intentions. Some of you are thinking in your mind, that, ah, oh God, I, if, you, if you bless me, if you do this for me, I want to do this for you. I want to do this in your church. Ah, oh, me could me cathedral. Some of you desire it. Some of you are saying, ah, like somebody called me, you know, one of us like that. He said, ah, sir, I desire to buy a, a bus for church. It's a good desire. And when he came to me, he told me, he said, sir, please pray for me. He desired to do it. But I always tell people, desire is not enough. Now, but look at the second lesson here. What hindered these desires from him being able to carry it out? Was show me the scripture. The Bible says, was one be ogun the day ye da fi di ka tori ire tori ogun tong be the day sin ye e rumba toni i kongbe toni o onre re to wula ti she ye kole she ni tori kwe kini bo she ingbi yon jwa ti fe she ni wong bo kunti. Look at it. He said, thou knowest how that David my father could not build an house unto the name of the Lord his God. For the words which were about him on every side, for the wars which were, for the war that they were waging against him, on, for the war which they waged against him on every side. So the battles that surrounded him were the gates that blocked him. I want to go to the house of I want to go to the house of the Lord. But today I pray for you. Every battle they used to surround you. Today, the Lord will give you victory over them. Because that's the thought in, in that scripture. Look at it. Until the Lord put them under the sole of his feet. If God could do it for David, he will do it for you. Because it's the same yesterday. It's the same today. And it's the same forever. The battles that could not allow him to carry out his intentions, the Bible says God subdued it under his feet. Now, I only showed you that to show you that they used troubles to lock David up. Now look at another example. Another one in 2 Kings chapter 6 verse 25 to verse 30. This one, it was an envious king that rose up against Israel. And you know what he did? He closed their borders. The Bible says he besieged them. First king, uh, 2 Kings chapter 6 from verse 25. From verse 25. Yeah, God, I say, to 30. Are you there? Let's look at it. And there was a great famine in Samaria. And behold, they besieged it. You know what it means to besiege? To put a fence around the person's life. One moldy, yeah, yeah, in your car. Oh, lori, oh, lewa. Oh, go, oh, lewa, oh, lori. You know, helpers cannot come to him. He himself cannot go to helpers. Now, when they say they besiege a, na a nation, it's like they, they make sure that they close their borders. You can't take anything out. You can't bring anything in. Now, and let's look at the outcome. The Bible says, and behold, they besieged it until an axe head. Ori Kete Kete was sold for first core piece of silver and the fourth part of calf of doves, doves dung for five pieces of silver. Move on. Verse 26. Verse 26. And as the king of Israel was passing upon the wall, there cried the woman unto him, saying, Help, my Lord. O king, help. Oba, help me now. Help me, O king. Look at the next verse. That one will shock you. And he said, If the Lord did not help thee, whence shall I help thee? Out of the bond floor, bond floor, sorry, or out of the wine press? Now, when we talk about open doors, it's God you need. The king said, Ah, even me, you don't know what I'm going through. <laughs> Where do you want me to help you from? Is it from the wine press? Is it from the band floor? All the places are empty. We are talking about the fence placed around our life. Everywhere is empty. Where can I help you from? Now, verse 28. Now, look at verse 28. Verse 28. Now, and the king said unto her, What had Eliot thee? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Yesterday, give thy son that we may eat him, eat him today. And we will eat my son tomorrow. I will be told, Lady, do you know that this thing now is happening today? I'm not talking about physical eating of sons. You know what your children are? Your children are your future. Your future. 
You are, inv you are investing on them today because of tomorrow, Abi. Now, what does it mean to eat your son today? When you don't have savings again, you have eaten your son now. Because you can only go to it. So you have started eating from your savings to the point that your, sa your savings point is zero. What have you done? You have eaten your son. That one said, we, we ate my own son yesterday. Today is now a turn. Okay. He now said tomorrow. Now look at 29. Verse 29. Verse 29. Be fast. Be fast. We are something like that. So we boiled my son. Imagine. How did they eat that boy? We boiled my son and did eat him. And I said unto her, on the next day, give thy son that we may eat him. And she had hid her son. Uh -uh. She hid her own son. We ate my own yesterday. We now told him to bring his own today. I want today. She's now saying, no, uh, uh, if I don't even know where my son ran to. Verse 30. Verse 30. Now, and it came to pass, when the king heard the words of the woman, that he rent his cloth. Wait for me here. You know why the enemy closed people's doors? They closed people's doors to make life difficult for them. That's so that when life is difficult, one, they will not be able to fulfill their purpose. Two, they will not be able to invest into the things of God. That's why he closes doors. To make life very hard for them. Your doors will open. I didn't hear you. Now, I purposely read this scripture for you to see because even the king cannot help you. The king told them, except the Lord though, I can't help you. So the enemy closes doors so that they want to, when they want to make life difficult and unbearable for people. Let's read on. Let's read on. What happened to us? Our screen. Okay, let's let's continue. Do you now know that? Okay, this is this one working. Praise the Lord. And it came to pass. That's gone too. Ha ah, yeah, God ever say, say today's my day. I didn't hear you. Say every doors closed against me shall be open today. Now, and how do you open doors? You open doors by prophesying. Because if you read through that story, the king got angry and said, Where is may God deal with me? He got angry, may God deal with me. If the head of Elisha is still on his head, which means how will shall we have a prophet and our door is still closed? That was why Elisha now prophesied that by this time tomorrow, Kaya Gadaba said. Elisha now prophesied and gave them the price of food. That by this time tomorrow, food will be so cheap. And the, the man that was standing with the king said, the assistant of the king said, ah, no, you don't understand, sir. You don't know the kind of scarcity that we are. Even if God opened the window of heaven, what you are saying will not happen. <laughs> Elisha laughed. He said, for you to know that there is God, you will see it, but you will not partake of it. And, uh, and when God will work his wonders, he opened doors. Angels came down. The Arameans began to hear strange voices. They left all their food and fled. Imagine the food that will take care of a whole nation was in the camp of the enemy. That's why anything that belongs to you, that the wicked has taken by chance in any way, they shall be restored back to you from today in the name of Jesus. So, beloved, we are going to pray. That's why we are here. I didn't come to preach. I only came to show you the difference between the door that is open and the door that is closed. Now, look at, we, I started from Joseph. When the door of Joseph was opened, look up. Somebody he helped just suddenly remember. Wait. Wait. And how did he remember? He remembered be, uh, because the same situation happened in the palace. They needed somebody that will interpret dream. The man said, ah, I remember now. I remember now. I remember now. They said, what did you remember? There was there's a man in prison. I was supposed to remember two years ago. Oh, king. And the king said, eh, go and bring him out. They brought Joseph out. That day of his remembrance was the day he got married. That day of his divine remembrance was the day he was promoted. Every of his things happened fast because the door was opened. I'm praying for somebody. If it is the mercy of God you need, 
for your doors to open. May you have access to God's mercy in the name of Jesus. Because, listen, closed doors can come from four sources. How many? Four. Take note of this. A person's door can be closed by four forces. Number one, a person's door can be closed by God. In Genesis, the Bible says, because Leha was not loved, God opened her womb and closed the womb of Rachel. Who closed the womb? God. When God is the one closing your door, hear me, it is because of something, two things. It could be for two things. Number one, it could be as a result of something that has happened that you have done wrongly, that he closed that door so that you can turn back to him. And two, God can close a person's door because if he opens that door, it may lead to your destruction. So some doors that God closed, he closed them for good. Secondly, hear me. You can close your own door by your ignorance. Let me see if I can share two or three testimonies or examples with you. Happened to me. The first time I had the opportunity to travel, it was my mom that initiated it. Told my elder sister, yes, I want my first son, your junior brother, to come over here, to come out. He has not traveled to Nigeria, to outside Nigeria before. I want him to come to Johannesburg. And my mom called me. I said, I've had. But because I had this fear, since when uh, 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 the late pastor Bimbo Odukoya died, I was afraid of flying. I'm not the only one afraid of flying. David Beckham is afraid of flying. Anywhere England wants to play and they have to fly, David Beckham will not go. If train cannot go, he will rather not go to play at all. He had this phobia for, for playing. When he was playing for his club, he would have, when they, they, they go by air, he will go by road. For me, my own phobia was because Pastor Bimbo, I was saying, eh, my mentor, because I respected that woman so well. And I saw her as a mentor. Every Thursday night, I used to listen to her on BCUS. Till her death. So you know what I said? I was praying. I said, Lord, I know this is not you. This is not an opportunity from you. But so that I will not disappoint my mom. Because she will begin to cry now. I will go to the embassy. So I went to the embassy. Submitted all my documents. And after one week, they called me for, to come and receive. I went to receive it. And when I opened the, the envelope, they said, your visa was denied. I said, praise the Lord. I came back home. I told my wife, praise the Lord. My visa has been denied. God knows that if I go on that plane, I might lose my life. It's not the will of God for me to travel. Not knowing that it was my ignorance. Then my mom called. That I should read the letter. Why did they deny my visa? Why did they deny the visa? So I read it. They said, your bank statement was not signed. It was stamped, but not signed. You can reapply. I said, I'm not going anywhere. My wife said, you, uh, you, know, you know how you women do. She mount pressure on me. I agreed. I said, okay. I will go and try to please you people. But in my heart, I didn't want to go. I got there, submitted it. After one week, they called me. I went back. I didn't want to open. As I got downstairs, I opened it to get there as usual that you have been denied. I saw that you have been granted visa to travel to Chilburg, you know, for three months. A stamp three months visa. Ah, Kilele. And that fear started coming again. Da, da, da. So now confirm it that it was the devil. The vehicle that was coming, bringing me back to Ibadan. As we were coming, he failed to break. The man managed to, he succeeded to pin it down. He stopped. He fixed the brake. We started going again. I was sitting right in front. Right on high speed, the bonnet opened. Bah! Hit the windscreen. The whole thing broke on me. And I said, indeed, God is speaking that this is not a journey that I need to embark on. I will just tell my wife. I will call off this thing. 
on it in far. You know, that was the thing I was asking. But when I got back home again, my wife started mounting prayer. My mom started calling. There was pressure all around. I said, okay. The next thing, before I know, they have sent my ticket. Ah. They have even sent my ticket. They've given me, to, my, to me it was, they have given me my death date. So every day, I agreed. Okay, I will go. So I will be confessing the sin that I didn't commit. Lord, in case if this is my last journey, just make me to make heaven. If there is any sin I do not know of, Father, have mercy on me. I was pleading the blood of Jesus over a sin that I did not commit. Then the day came. I will look at my wife. I will look at my children. I will shake my head. They didn't know why I was shaking my head. <laughs> then I got to the airport. They checked me in. Ah, there was this white man that we sat together. He said he came to pass, uh, to, to uh, help uh, the a minister, uh, that's minister of ed education in Nigeria, said then, to organize a school in Abuja. He was just talking to me. He was talking, he didn't know I had tension. He was just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking for me to respond. Till we talked ourselves into the plane. As the pilot announced, please fasten your seatbelt. The flight is about taking off. Ah, Uluwa. She be Pastor Prince with Shema Lori. Otubajaki, he be keeping what he must be. She in your lorum. See me, oh mercy. Uluwa, my jacket, Laju, Miss Onu, a party. Ah, me, oh God, I say, Jay, last one. This was what I was praying. To the point that when they came to ask me in the plane, do you care for juice or what? I say, anything. <laughs> ah, and to fellow cool and be okay. So what's in it? The, the pilot just announced. He said, now you are 44,000 feet above sea level. In case of any emergency, you can use any of the emergency exit doors. At 44,000 feet above sea level. But we landed. Though. We landed. Though. I got to Jobo. I preached in a redeemed Christian church, people were blessed. The fear died. When I was coming back, I now said, "Was this? Is this what the devil wanted to rob me of?" Some of you, it is your fear that is the closed door in front of you. You are afraid. What if I fail in that business? That's why the door that God wants to open for you has not opened. It's not the devil. Some of you are afraid. What if I fail again? The reason why you have not taken the next step is not the devil. Some of you, all you are thinking, what if I fail again? Some are saying, what if people mock it happen and people mock me? When I was coming back, I demanded for a seat beside the window. You know when I was going, I sat at the middle. It was an economic class. But when I was coming, I demanded that please can you give me a seat beside the window? I want to look down. As the plane was taking off, I was looking at the wings of the plane. As we entered the cloud, my thank God I had that experience. My children were asking me, is there a road? Was it not last week at home? Is there a road up there? I said, there's no road there. That what is there is plain white. That above the sky is plain white. To the left, you won't see anything. To the right, you won't see anything. My children asked, how do this, the plane, the pilots know the way? I said, they use a radar. There is this radar that points to them. They control them from where they are coming from. And when they get to a point, they disconnect from where they are coming from. They will control them from where they are going. When that thing turns right, they turn right. When it turns left, they turn left. I now said to myself, so there is no death on the sky waiting for me. I am ready to fly anywhere now. Say, I'm ready to fly. I didn't hear you. So, a lot of people are locked at, at, at the gate in front of them. It's not the devil. 
is their either their ignorance or their fear. Now, third, third reason why some gates are locked. I told you God could be the number one, you could be number two, and when it is you, it is either ignorance or fear. Maybe I should tell you small, small about ignorance. Do I still have time? Many years ago, somebody gave me a gift of a Samsung, a Samsung Galaxy Notepad. I was so happy because the most part that really interests me about the Galaxy Notepad is that I use it to browse. I didn't know that it's a notepad. So when I'm going for minister's conference, I will carry my big Bible, carry my message book, and still carry my Galaxy Notepad. Until one day I got to the conference and I saw someone that has the same like my Samsung. But this man didn't have Bible with him. He didn't have a note. It was the notepad that he was writing on. That was when I recognized the pen that was attached to my notepad. And I noticed that he would just press one place. Bible pa passage will come. Bible of, uh, Bible of different versions. You know what I did? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ignorance is the, is the most terrible padlock. Somebody was trusting God for fruit of the moon five years. Is it five, going, to, going to five years? Four, four or five years. I can't still remember the date. And they have gone to every mountain. You know, all those prayers. Until when they came to meet us. And I said, I don't know. Can we just see a doctor friend? And we went to the doctor. As we were coming in, listen to this. The doctor was going out. And the doctor said, Pastor, what happened? I said, these are close people to us. They are trusting God for fruit of the womb. Ah, Pastor, I have an, an operation. I just need to conduct. But you know what? Auntie, Auntie, please, when was your last menstrual flow? The auntie said it. What about last month? Uh, two months ago, she said it. Can you remember the third month? She said it. The doctor just did like this. Did like this. Did like this. And said, okay, Auntie, you know what? I don't really have time now. I will have attended to you. But you and your husband, can you go and meet yourselves within this number of days? Then after it, you can come see me. After those number of days, the next appointment we had was about a month or two. The auntie came like the... Ah, 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 ah. Doctor said, okay, let's quickly do small tests. She was already pregnant. Which means... The they were meeting at a long time. I said, I'm not preaching. That's why when you are praying, Lord, open my doors. You'll be saying, Lord, the wisdom that will deliver me from the ignorance that closed my door. Because some doors are not actually closed. You just need wisdom to access your next level. Do you get it? Number three, when doors are closed at times, they are closed by envious people. A person door can be closed by an envious person. That was exactly what Absalom did sitting at the gate of the palace. That's why my pray, my pray, a niyo to joko, to fiorenu, to fin tilekun. Mommy, I do an lanio. Any your tone, because Master Quay, eh, 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 one he run he run in one for twenty years in yes she nothing 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 she 
You know what we will we, we, we waste for 20 years? Ah, <laughs> Absalom did it. He sat down and all of a sudden, the Bible says he stole the heart of all the people in Israel. What I do understand about that scripture is that the Bible says he sat on that, on that gate for 42 years. I don't know whether you have read it. Are you using 40, 42 or 40 years? So, I used to wonder, 40 years, and they come with the furasi. Am I laughing about? Because anyone can come back to my dying Larry. Who got to make a cabby issue in your conceive? To why I came in room in more and Benny. Any Latin matter by left for me. A DT. As a moment, a by the Larry. And the counselors there did not think that way. So we have not been counseling, any, uh, counseling anybody for 40 years. Do you know that this thing happened to one of my pastor friends? This woman of God has a big church. Hear me. Whenever she finished preaching, they will help her carry her Bible and take her to the office. Only me shaking in the office. You go and sit down in the office. But there was another woman that was his assistant. The woman will not sit down in church and be greeting me. Hey, ah, sister, let me there. She has got service any. Oh, I, it is well with you. Ah, you are looking fine. Oh, hey, yeah. Is there any aspect that I need to pray for you? Oh, you want to do an exam? Don't worry. Give me your prayer point. You write the prayer point. Ah, sister, how are you? Sister, 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 sister precious. Hey, yeah. How is your sister? How is your daddy? This woman was doing like this. This mommy Gio said she did not even think that. Wait. Nobody was coming into my office again. Ah, the day she told me this story, she was bleeding in her heart. She did it for like that for some years. One day she just came and told mommy, eh, it's like the Lord is leading me to go and start my own ministry. And she, I release you. She didn't know that she's releasing her, releasing her with all the members. I release you to go and fulfill God's purpose. She left on Sunday. Not one person came to church. When they went to find out, all of them had moved to that woman's church. That was when she now went, began to ask questions. And they, all of them were saying, all the people were saying, ah, where you used to go and sit down in the office after service? She was coming to us one by one. Sherry came in all office in me. Sherry making wobble after service. I do mama will I want you. Ha ha ha. Ah. Can you come to buy how many years ago? I mean, didn't I ask you yesterday? Mommy, you will let you cry alone. I call her in the evening. You will let you cry alone. Me, you me, boss, you. Ah, I want to go sister Paul. You have to, you have to take, take permission from me. Let me know. Yes. So that in case anybody see you in group. Now what am I saying? Envious people can close doors. That's why you need to be prayerful and what? And sensitive. The fourth people that close door, the fourth force that close door is the devil himself. Paul said, I wanted, we wanted to come to you we tried 
once and again. But Satan hindered us. Have you seen this in your Bible before? It's in Thessalonians now. Those of you at the media, project it for me. He said, but Satan hindered us. Satan hindered us, which means Satan closes people's door. Type Satan under that Thessalonian. You will get it. Thank you. Wherefore, we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, which means not even once. But what? But Satan hindered us. But Satan hindered us. So, I'm a bad Bo ile kun ti o ta ti mo mi agada gudu yen oluwa jo ba mi jadanu there's a baby at the entrance okay is mo mi there okay oluwa jadanu she sheri awon ni lara yen awon ma nto awon woli eke yen lo lati mo ru that's why the Bible says we should not be ignorant of the devices of the devil. Oh, yeah. Let's be on our feet. I feel bad. The Bible says whatsoever you lose yet on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Please, you are going to declare. I have nine prayer points. You will be declaring it. You know we don't have all the time. Say after me. I command. I didn't hear you. I command. Every battle blocking my way. Now, to to money, you back. Bo, bo, go, ton, 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 de, me, lo, no. I read that video, fair, call the phone, wabi. But, be, be, li, ni, to, li, o, go, ton, be, ti, ko, ko, ri, she. Now, say after me. I command. Every battle blocking my way. Seize in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to prophesy. Begin to prophesy. Command it to stop now. Every battle that is blocking my way. Hear you the voice of the Lord. I command you to stop in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to declare now. Every battle blocking my way. I command you to stop. Now in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray Begin to pray it. Rekada babas, yeke de baskene. Rekada baba baba, ringe de ge des. Rakaya rabasene. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, believe in Amen. Amen. Take number two. Say, every evil cloud, bokbo kuru kuru okunko. Every evil cloud blocking me from being remembered for good. Move away now. Move away now. But but kuru kuru o kuku. Tio je kan fire na ti me. Oya shida no. Oya sodi adura. Let's begin to pray. Begin to pray. Every evil cloud. I hear you the voice of the Lord that is covering, blocking me from being remembered for good. I command you move away now. Command them to move. Command them to move. Command them to move. Command them to move away. Regada baba se. Shagada baskene, ringe de bosene. Are you praying? Are you praying? Evil cloud covering my way. Move away now in the name of Jesus. Move away now in the name of Jesus. Move away now in the begin to command them to move away. Move away now in the name of Jesus. Regada base. Ah ah, kilo de. Iwa kuru kuru okungu. So je kan le fire na ti mi. To je keti gba ti re ba kan. Wa kan so di binu mo lowo oya shida no. Begin to pray. Rekada bar, basse que les masques, les que des que des que des, barenga da basse ne, chaga da barabas, lenguia da basse ne. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. On the prayer point number three, show me Zachariah chapter one, eighteen to twenty-one. We want to cut off every evil horn. Bukui wo kungu, every evil horn, scattering the good things I am building. Preventing me from rising to the top. Catch fire. Zechariah chapter 1, 18 to 21. Then lifted I up my eyes and saw, behold, four horns. 
verse 19. Yagadabas, labor soto ye maske. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be this? And he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judah. Can you see? Israel and Jerusalem. That good thing you are gathering shall not scatter again. And I said, Okay, move to the next verse. Verse 20, we stop at 21. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then said I, what come this to do? And he spake, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these had come to fray them, fray them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted their own over the land of Judah to scatter it. The, the, the Bible says the carpenters came to cut them off. Now say after me, every horn scattering the good things I'm building, preventing me from rising to the top. Catch fire now! In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Every evil horn. Scattering the good thing I'm building. Preventing me from rising to the top. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch. Command them to catch fire. Command them to catch fire. Command them to catch fire. Begin to pray. Rege de babase. Shankaya rabaskenere. Basata yanga da baske. Balenge de gedes. Raka yara basata yara. Rege de basata yara baskere. Leke de baba baba baba. Are you praying? 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 Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Legada barabaras. Shagada barabasa. Base kele maske. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Catch the fire of prayer. Ah, pray. Say after me every door. Closed against my destiny. Be open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Begin to declare every door closed against my destiny. Hear you the voice of the Lord. Be open now. I say be open now. In the name of Jesus. Be open. Be open. Command it to be open. Command those doors to open now. In the name of Jesus. Every door closed against my destiny. Open in the name of Jesus. Open in the name of Jesus. Rekada babas. Shangada baskene. Rekede baskana. Raka yaraba. My destiny arise. My destiny arise. Begin to shine. Begin to speak. Begin to manifest. 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 In the name of Jesus. And your mom, Mimo Kwe. Oya Beresini Farahon. Begin to declare. Raka Yaraba. Rege de Gedes. Basata Yangarabas. Balege de Basana Yara. Shagada Baskene. Renge de Gedes. Begin to pray. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And amen. Take prayer point number five. Those of you at the media, is our own speaker working? Okay. It's like you don't used to hear me at the back. You didn't hear what I said? Okay. Prayer point number five. Pray this one, oh, hear me. No, number four. Say every door closed against my epa of destiny. Ile kontanti mo olore mi. Shiloru ko Jesu. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Begin to declare. Every door closed against my helpers of destiny. Be open now. Begin to open now. Begin to open now. All the doors closed against my helpers. Open in the name of Jesus. Rege de basa. Rakayara. Base kele masse. Renge de baskandayara. Reke de gede gedes. Shakayara bas. Basa kayara baskene, balenge de gedes, rege de gede gedes, baragada ba, shangada barabos, renge de gede gedes. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Command it to open, command it to open, command it to open. Now, now, now. In Jesus' mighty name of prayer. Take number five. Say doors of great opportunities. Doors of great opportunities. Le kwam vanilla. Open for me now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Reka yarabase, yakada baskandaira, reke de gedegres, 
Doors of great opportunities. Oh, yeah, begin to open for me. Begin to open for me. Begin to open for me. Now. Open for me now. Open for me now. Open for me now. Open for me. Command those doors to open for you now. Doors of great opportunities. Begin to open for me now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Are you declaring? Reke de base. Lagadaba. Ragayarabas. Basekele maskene. Shangadabara. Regoliaraba. Basanta yagadabas kenere. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Now we want to send angels on assignment now. In Acts chapter 5, verse 19. I think now angel in share. People will let you see. I want to see mommy. See, I want to see mommy. A young girl in mono in jade. It be keep it on about Timo. We are there. We may not do cocoro sini. We are no. It be keep it on about. Can one get lomashi? Because it happened in Acts chapter 5, verse 19. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison door and brought them forth and said, can you see the angel went by himself and when he now let's declare say angels. angels i didn't hear you angels. begin to open the doors that the wicked has shut against me in the name of jesus angels begin to open them now open your mouth and begin to declare begin to declare as you are declaring angels are going to walk now every door that the wicked has closed against me Angels, I send you forth. Go and begin to open those doors now. Begin to open those doors now. Begin to open those doors now. Reggae de ba 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 Ranga yara barabas, shanga da barabas, lenge de gede gede, basata. Begin to pray, begin to declare, begin to declare. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Quickly take number seven. We'll stop at number nine because of time. Number seven, Second Corinthians, chapter two, verse two, twelve. Second Corinthians two, twelve. Second Corinthians two, twelve. Second Corinthians two, twelve. Le mama mama sandaya. He said, furthermore, when I came to trust to preach Christ, to preach Christ's gospel, and a door was opened unto me of the Lord. Can you see? Even in ministry, we need open door. You are going to pray. And what is the prayer? Oh God, open doors for me wherever I enter. May doors of good things close against me. May doors of good things not close against me. Every embassy I approach, open doors for me. Any company I approach, open doors for me. Whenever I seek for favor, open doors for me. Shall we begin to pray? Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. You are the one that opened door for the ministry of Paul, the apostle. Father, open doors for me. Open doors for me. Wherever I enter from now, Oluwa Jo, Ile Kumrele Shifu me. Ibi Kibi Tuba Wukim Timu Wo. Lati Onilo. Let doors of good opportunities be open for me. Doors of good opportunities. Doors of greatness. Open for me. Open for me. Open for me. Open for me. In the name of Jesus. Begin to declare. Raka da ba 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 ba. Ringa da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba. Raka da ba da ba da ba. Basa ka da ba da ba. Shanga da ba da ba. Ringe de ge des. Thank you, Father. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. In Colossians chapter 4 verse 3. Number 8. Colossians 4 3. You are going to pray. The prayer is, Lord, open doors for my gift. Onti mo manche. Ah ah. Now look at what Paul said here. He said, with all praying also for us, that what? That God will open unto us a door of all trans to speak the mystery of Christ. Uh -uh. He asked for door of all the co he, for his calling. The, his calling is to speak the word. This is what I know how to do. Begin to pray. 
Ti ma de ma gba 15000 pelu BSC Oluwa open doors for my gifts open your mouth and begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray Lord open doors for my for my qualification tell mention your qualification mention your qualification Yakada barabas Shagada baskene Ringe de gedes Rakaya rabase Balagada barabas Oya gbadu agbadu agbadu ise woloko daruko ise yen oluwa ise bayi ni mo ko oluwa sile kun fun ise mi oluwa sile kun fun ise mi ma mo re ah re gada barabas le gede baskende baragada bara are you praying are you praying thank you father in jesus mighty name of prayer I'm rushing. We are going to close now. And I want to see all the members who say, stay. We take us offline. I have a short, me a brief meeting with all our members. Re Revelation 3.8. Last prayer for this evening. Revelation 3.8. Revelation 3.8. He said, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. How? And no man can shut it. Lord, the doors of good things that no man will be able to shut. Father, open for me in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Let's begin to pray in the name of Jesus. The doors of good things that no man will be able to shut. Lord, open for me. 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 Begin to pray that God should open it for you. The doors of good things. Tenny Kenyo Niriti Uluwa Joshi for me Uluwa Joshi for me Uluwa Joshi for me Uluwa Joshi for me Pray for yourself are you praying Jeje ki orushi Baba mi o Jeje ki orushi Kaye mi dara Ah Jeki ji Dawa duro Kori mi ko sorry Ki gbogbo aye Waba mi Jesu logo In Jesus Mighty name we pray Father we thank you we give you all the glory. We give you all the worship. I stand as your servant declaring over myself and everyone listening to me. May doors of good opportunities open for us now. In the name of Jesus. Doors that no man can shut. Let it open for our ministry. Let it open for our businesses. Let it open for our work. In the name of Jesus. Let it open for our giftings. Our talents. Our callings. Thank you, Father, for it is done. We receive the open doors. We gain access into them. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And amen. Quickly put your hands together for the Lord.